Okay, so here we have the, 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 uh, the capability of creating new websites, right? And it gets created into, into the list of websites down here, right? Uh, but say we wanted to list here the owner of that website, okay? Uh, well, in this case, it's obvious it's me, right? The, the currently logged in user. But say we wanted a list of, a, of, a, uh, of all our websites, right? And then have the username of the owner of that website. Uh, notice that we don't have that information when it comes back from the server, right? These are the websites. There they are. They're all listed, the names of the website, and they're all listing. Uh, but we have a foreign key to the user who, who created them, yes? It'd be nice if I actually had access to that object, right, that, that created it with the username and the first name, last name, and all that information, okay? Uh, so, but we don't have that. In, in a, a relational database, what we'd like to be able to do is something like joining, right? I, wanna, I like to use this foreign key that points to some other a record joined with that record so that it can access the fields in that other record. Yes? Uh, but in ALAS, we don't have that in Mongo. Mongo does not uh, support uh, joining. Right? The closest thing that we have is, um, is a function in, um, in Mongoose that, that uh, sort of supports this, this feature, which is called populate. Right? It allows you to populate a, a data that um, uh, is referenced elsewhere uh, so that it can do a separate query and go fetch that, that referred data, right, and join it in, well, it's not really a join, and add it to the, replace this developer ID, replace the developer ID by the actual, you know, uh, uh, record that it refers to. So let's look at that. Uh, so here in the, um, in the find websites for user, uh, we're just returning the, the user. That's it, right? There it is. Let's, let's put it in a separate uh, line here. We're just returning the websites for that particular developer ID, and that's it. Yes. Well, we can go a little bit further, right? And we can say that I want to populate, I want to populate the developer ID. This says, right? Um, who populate, not populate. I mean, take that field that currently is a foreign key or it's being treated as a reference to some other record or right, to some other document, I want you to go back to the database, use this, right, and query that object and, and then replace this entire field with that object, right, including the username and first name and all the, the, the information that is in there. Right? Once we do that, we need to explicitly do an exec. Right? Exec is because here we weren't just doing a find, but Here's a couple of transformations that we can uh, we can ask we can ask them to sort them we can ask them to to do all sorts of uh, aggregations okay uh, that can that can that can be all stacked one after the other right it gets compiled and then you explicitly tell a mongoose to execute all the right all the transformations that you have stacked uh, against that uh, against that collection against that query right so let's restart the server and now let's refresh this right. Uh, if we look at the website that it comes back now, right, you'll notice that the developer is null. What? <laughs> uh, did I miss something? Developer ID? Developer ID? Hmm. I must have mistyped something. The populate developer. Did I, did I mistype it? Wait a minute. Uh, mongoose populate. Populate. Populate, populate, author. Oh, okay, we forgot one thing. Uh, to be able to handle this, right, we need to uh, give some meta information to Mongoose. Right? We have to tell it, what, what do I do with that ID? Okay, what does it map to? What, what instance uh, does it map to, right? So to do that, uh, to do that, uh, in the schema for the website, in the schema for the website, where is it? Uh, website schema, there it is. Instead of this being just a plain old string, uh, we have to say, hey, that information that's stored in that field is actually a reference to some other record. We need to give it some meta information so that it will know, you know where to go fetch this ID, what collection does it live in, right? And what is what record do you want? So to do this, uh, we need to um, configure a little bit. Uh, we need to tell it uh, that this is actually referring, 
This is referring to a, uh, another model, a user model. I think that's what we called it. Right? Uh, so so this, is, this is how, this is how um, uh, Mongoose is going to know that the value, the ID that you're storing in there, we're still going to store IDs, or only IDs, uh, of how to interpret it. Right? If, I, if I, for instance, I want to uh, uh, populate it, what instance of objects do you want? And also we need to tell it what, what are we storing in there. We are storing, uh, we're storing mongoose, mongoose dot, uh, schema dot types dot ob, uh, object IDs. Oop, object IDs. Object IDs. There we go. All right. Uh, now I don't remember if this is capital ID or capital ID. Hmm. No, let's let's do ID. Um, all right. So let's so let's try that. Uh, is it here? Uh, object ID. Uh, okay. It looks like it's uh, lowercase ID. Right, so this is ID. All right. So let's try that. Let's uh, let's restore the uh, let's restart the page the um, the server, and let's go back here. Let's refresh, and now we totally broke it. Wait. Uh oh. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, Mongoose.schema.types. Uh, let me see if it's um. That's correct. Let me search that. Schema types. Uh, schema. Schema types. Isn't that what I did? What I said? Schema types. Type. Mongoose. Schema types. On the schema dot types dot object ID. Did I misspell it? No, right? That's right. Mongoose dot schema. Reference user model. Uh, let me create a brand new one. Maybe it is working. It's just that I need to create a couple more. Create. Okay. Oh, okay. So the the ones that are already created. Right, are not of that type, right? So it's it's not it's not considering it. Um, all right, so let's create just a few more. Uh, so so here, notice that uh, when I when I uh, look at the um, the objects, notice that developer ID is no longer just that one ID. See that? Uh, instead, it has the the uh, the additional information about the user that that ID refers to. See that? Okay. Uh, which includes um, includes the first name, the last name, even the password, uh, the username, and whatnot. Right, all that information is included in there. Right, it probably we probably don't want the password. Right? Perhaps the only thing that we care about is the username. Yes, uh, and, uh, and 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 probably if this if this user is a very heavy object that has lots and lots of fields, I probably don't want all the fields. Right, they, they could be arrays in here. We could be some embedded objects in there so we could we can go back right and uh, and specify in the model where we where, where, where we're populating we can specify exactly which fields we want we can specify I really only want the username I only really want the username okay uh, so if we restart here and we refresh okay notice that website Right, the 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 ID, the you the developer ID. We only get the username, right? We also get the underscore ID. That you always get, right? Although you can turn it off. You can say I don't want the ID, right? But this for for now, we'll, we'll we'll keep the ID. So anyway, so now that we have that information, we could use it to perhaps uh, render here, right? Uh, the 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 uh, the owner of that. Uh, of that here. So, for instance, we might uh, uh, we might uh, display not only the website name, but we might display also, right? Maybe in parentheses, the owner. We can say that um, it's a website 
website dot developer ID dot username. Yes? Okay. Uh, what is it complaining about? There it is, R2. Okay, there's R2 is the owner. Um, the uh, Angular is complaining because we never added developer ID as an object embedded inside of the website uh, model. Or you would have to add it in there as well. Okay. Um, all right, so, so I just wanted to point out uh, Populate is a very powerful uh, mechanism that gives you some you know, something back of what you might have missed uh, from, uh, from, from being able to, um, to join right, to, uh, two records together. Right? It's somewhat, uh, it, you, you get back some of that. 